Finally, the final type of dialog that's available in Android is the custom dialog. And this is really a dialog that you use when there's nothing else that's really going to work for you, when you have something that's so custom that you need to have complete control over the display of the dialog. So with this, you can literally display whatever you want. It uses the same layout file that you've been using to create activities in Android. It's just a regular layout file, and anything you can put in there, essentially, you can put into the dialog. You'll just basically inflate that or set the content view, just like you do with an activity. You'll just set the layout for the dialog when you create it. You can interact in, with the the view in the layout. So what I mean by that is if you have buttons that are in your layout in your custom dialog, you can grab those and you can change the text and you can do anything that you could do in a normal activity. So that's kind of neat. It, it gives you some extra functionality there. It always has to show a title unless you basically create an alert dialog and then add, to, add the layout, inflate the XML yourself and and that there's a, a workaround to that, but essentially, the basically our true custom dialog has a title, and that's just a limitation in the Android framework. And you're going to manage this custom dialog just the same way that you do an alert dialog. When I talked about the dialog management that's available in Android, the custom dialog really is no exception. It goes through that exact same flow, even though it's custom. You're going to hook into uh, you're going to call show dialog, you're going to hook into the on create dialog and the on prepare dialog, and you're going to use dismiss dialog and remove dialog just like you would uh, an alert dialog or any other dialog in the, in the Android operating system.